What is up in the army? I am Gibney if I've coming at you with a brand new video. I'm hoping the audio sounds okay. I haven't had a chance to test this yet, but um, I'm hoping it sounds fine. I'm using the same mic as I'm using for all the gaming content now as this mic. I just un unhooked it up from the um tri from the boom arm. I don't have a boom arm for here for on this desk. I could just move that boom arm. I might do that in the future. But for today, for this episode, I don't. So it might sound a little strange. I hope it doesn't. We will see though. But without further ado, Welcome back to an aircraft season two. It has been a ridiculous amount of time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It has been so long. It has been so long since uh, we've done one of these episodes that uh, the only thing I know that we did in the last episode was we completed this meg my main tower of my main base. That's what we did last episode. That's literally it. <laughs> pretty much all we've been doing for the last, like, last three episodes, or... Yeah, anyway, um, now, as I'm climbing up the mountain to get a better vantage point of the base, there's the tower, looks so awesome, um, today, uh, it, it was a couple, couple different decisions I had to make for today, a, doing the interior of the actual, uh, tower, which is from that, from, it's from that point up, and I was needing to decide what I, if I was going to do that today, to decide, no, I'm not doing that today, I, it felt like that would take a little too long, um, so I'm not doing that today, uh, we are going to be doing something else. But, um, the other options were to either go into a new new area, because, uh, we got a sun token in a couple episodes ago. And that unlocks a new direction. Um, so I want to do that. But, I want to do one more build here before we do that, and, uh, so, that's what we are going to do today. We are going to do... Uh, some more stuff. We are going to be building another build in this area. And, uh, I've already decided on what build we are going to do today. And it probably makes the most amount of sense. Because of, uh, well, we're surrounded by water. What is something you need to, what is one thing that I've been pretty much thinking of building pretty much the entire time? The water travel tower, which is going to be what we're building today. And I've already done some resource gathering for the build. I grab, I, in the form of, I bought a lot of ice. I got a lot of ice. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I literally got buckets of ice. <laughs> uh, it's there. Yeah, entire box full of ice. Let's uh, take this box out to the tent, out to the site and uh if you don't know how I built things on um in on this you will be you will find out right now um <laughs> find out this episode as um well the idea I finally came up with a better way to call this series uh, of the series like pretty much my survival series they're not full survival but they are survival in my mind but um I found, came up with a better name for them, and that is Hybrid Survival. So, um, that's pretty much what it is. I build in creative, but I s s do everything else in survival. So, uh, that's pretty much what these series are. All my Minecraft series is pretty much what they are. They're hybrid. So, uh, yeah. Water Travel Tower is what we are doing today. Now, unlike... That one, and that one, um, 
where I had them pretty much completely built in other air in other worlds. This one I don't have built in another world. I am just gonna go willy nilly and see if I come up with a better idea. If I if I can't come up with anything, I will come. Up, I will o open up the creative world and I will do it in there and then. Well, this and this video will probably take three days. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. But, as I'm going to go put this back, uh, where the, um, I'm gonna go put this box at the, um, pill, at the wood thing, marking the, uh, construction site. And I, I, uh, have... A new idea for this land that I want to tell you guys about. So, um, recently, if you haven't noticed, this last week and over the next week also, will be pretty much mostly Star Wars stuff. So, um, if you didn't know, I'm a, a pretty, pretty big Star Wars fan. Hey, well, I have Darth Vader's helmet on my, on my desk along with, uh, Along with the Razor Crest and the IDS Transport Lego sets in my, uh, uh, in my TV cabinet. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty much a given that I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> anyway, um, the big thing is I want to have something in all my bases that I'm going to be setting up in the other areas that, um, Connects them that actually like can be like a representation of each base Well, I have uh, I have really put so, so much thought into that except for this one I know exactly what I want what I want to put here where I have no idea <laughs> because We have big base there. We have um Air travel tower coming going over there. We have the water travel tower over there. Then we have the nether tower, which I've already started plans for, all the way over here, um, which is going to be the biggest tower. Then we have mining one and mining two, and then probably uh, probably more towers that I will come up with in the future, because I'm probably going to have a trading tower also, which. Those that might end up being in this tower, but uh, I'm not a hundred percent certain. So, um, the idea is to connect everything, connect all my bases, and make them uh, like have a part that goes with each other. Is I'm gonna build a Star Wars thing on, on all my bases. <laughs> that, that might be a really Really bad idea, but I think it'd be quite cool. I think it might be quite fun to do and uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna do a Star Star Wars build in every base this season and uh, Then next season I will do something else to connect all the bases it well if it's the same system That I don't know yet, but um I will connect all my bases the same way with something uh, that can represent them all at each base. So, I hope that makes sense. It might not, but if it does, hey, it makes sense. Anyway, uh, the thing that will be going here as the sun is setting now. Uh, let's go sleep. Um, the thing I'm going to build here, I will say once I sleep. <laughs> it has been so long since I've done one of these and I've really been wanting to do an episode like another episode of this just so much is still right when I'm like okay I'm going to do an episode this week more stuff comes up nothing's come up this week so I'm able to film it <laughs> so So, uh, yeah. Next week might be a different story. But, for this week, 
I'm able to, so I'm going to. I still have my Santa skin on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. I still have my Santa skin on. If you can't tell underneath my armor, it's still on. Uh, well, hold on one sec. Uh, see? Santa, Santa stuff still on. I just don't have my hat on. Uh, hold on. Um. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Now I have a hat. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I don't know how I've forgotten to take this off, but um, I, I will certainly remember for the next episode. Or maybe by the end of this episode, it will change back to normal. But, um, yeah. So, today, we are building the water tower. What the? I forgot. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing for the Star Wars thing that will connect the bases. So, the thing I'm going to build here, being in the tundra, I think it's just the most big thing to build here. I am go as I uh, this is so weird uh, me being Santa having the beard on. So today uh, I am going to build the um a big AT AT Walker, big Imperial Walker. Yeah, that's gonna be a really really bad idea in my view, but uh, because it's gonna be so f so large, I have no idea where to put it, and <laughs> like, well. That's not entirely true, it's probably gonna go here. <laughs> but I don't wanna mess up the view of my base, so it's probably gonna go off, uh, off to this side, uh, in between this and the mining tower over there. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Big walker. That's gonna be annoying, but it's gonna be fun to build for me. I, I'm gonna start planning that probably any day now. So, uh, it's good. I will say that is a couple episodes away because that I don't know how I'm going to do yet. But without further ado, let's get to the build today. Let's get to the water travel tower. I don't think this will take super long. <laughs> well, like I said earlier, it might may or may not, depending if I end up uh, thinking of other stuff to do <laughs> or if I can't think of any plan for it, I will have to then go into the creative world. Build it in there, then build it in here, and then then this will probably be delayed to Saturday. No, I mean Sunday. It's already coming. This is coming out on Saturday already. So, without further ado, <sighs> enough blab blabbering on. I blabbered on for twelve minutes about future plans. Let's get on with. Our new build, the water travel tower as I'm on ice. Anyway, let's go as I fall in the water.
Okay, so the um boat uh, water travel tower is now complete. Well, first things first, let's actually show you guys the outside. It looks pretty neat. Um, I will definitely say it took a lot longer than expected. Um, <laughs> because I was expecting. You know, I'm gonna get this done on the Friday, be able to do a bunch of other stuff Saturday morning. Nope. Took three days, but, <laughs> but let's not talk about that. Um, it, well, the main reason why it took three days is mostly because I had to work on other videos other than this. So with that, this is done now. I'm very, very happy with it. I don't have my... Hold on one sec. <laughs> I forgot the thing. That's supposed to be on the mic. I had to move the mic, so... Hold on one sec. I had to move it for another video, so... I hooked it back up. Prior to actually starting this. And I don't have a certain something on, on the mic that should be on the mic, so... Let me just, there we go. Okay, pop filters, now on. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. So, um, let's look outside first. Um, I went for a very interesting design. It obviously had to be tall. Now, originally it was just going to be like this orange and red part there that was that's literally the actual main part of it that's the only part that actually matters but i thought i need to make this have something to like give it some life so i gave it some life i gave it the built the i what i did was story wise this is where the power for the entirety of the north complex is coming from. Now I will show I will show you that in a second what I mean by that. But um, that will be something that we work on in the future also. But um, I will say, uh, first build that had a bunch of snowfalls that was super super annoying. But um. This is the other side. This is the boat launching area. And then I realized after the fact that um, I didn't put, I didn't make there a way to get it, get back. So then came me putting chains in the lights that are keeping the water warm in front of the uh, launch ramps. So, uh, um, the boats don't drop through. Now, I am aware that they still can drop through, but it's a lot harder. So, I was also thinking of doing diagonal this way. I decided against that. I might do that still in the future, but I haven't yet. So, um, with that, that is the entirety of the outside. The tower part is uh, actually, surprisingly, took the quickest amount of time to do, which... I'm quite, quite shocked about, <laughs> but, um, the inside actually took a decent amount, uh, quite quick also. So I added these carpets and I used the main colors of the northern complex, black, orange, gray, and red. I just alternated and it actually turned out quite nice. It made some pretty nice carpets out of them. Then I have two beds, plus a, plus two chests in here. So I can sleep if it's uh, turning into uh, night when we arrive back in here. Then this, this is what I'm getting at by power. So the big giant star that the building is siphoning the power out of with two big magnets, that one and that one, is then going down the towers going into the into this building which is supposed to be like a power um converter and then it's going into these batteries 
and then the batteries will get transported to something that we will build in the future. Which, I'm a little bit annoyed that I'm doing this, but I'm adding something else to my list of builds here. I'm adding something, uh, power plant, <laughs> so the batteries can be plugged in. But, um, yeah, I like how this turned out. The batteries, I think, just give it a lot more humor and a lot more life. So, uh, yeah. Water tower slash power tower. And then, well, obviously, inside what is technically supposed to be the power converter, the room that would be, like, spinning, <laughs> um, is actually... The boat launch, and you can tell I tested it, um, and, uh, yeah, it actually, it looks really cool in here. Like, I really like how this turned out. My inspir- no, my inspiration for this build was, um, uh, something out of Star Wars, which is kind of funny, I think, but, um, you know, in, um, in- uh, I can't remember the name of the ship, but in one of Star uh, in a ship in the Star Wars universe, there is um uh the tie fighters just pretty much drop. That was my idea. That's what gave me the inspiration for this, and uh, it turned out pretty nice. And I did so much testing, but I. I know I said I was going to pretty much just wing it. I'm glad I didn't fully just wing it. I did pretty much wing it, actually, but, um, for the launching thing, for these, I didn't wing it. Originally, uh, this was a lot thinner. It was two blocks thinner on each side and shorter, in, like, this way. But, um, then I took it into my creative testing world. I designed what I wanted, and I stupidly thought a boat would fit through a one-block gap. Nope! Three-block gap! Then came this design, <laughs> and uh, then I had to extend the entire thing, which... That's actually turned out quite nice. I've actually quite, I actually quite like this. I like the look of it. It looks super, super, super neat. And, uh, let's actually, um, take it for a quick spin. As we drop and go out. Now, the reason why I have ice inside the tunnels is because when you are on a boat on ice, you actually go quite quick. So that's why I have ice in there. And uh, now we have a way to quickly get in a boat and ride off in any which direction we want. It's uh, now, <sighs> this was a whole lot of work. I'm so happy the way it turned out. I think it turned out wonderfully. If I... Now, if I had the opportunity to uh, change it, I know I would probably do the tower part slightly different, but um, I like how it turned out. And uh, so... Yeah, I like how it turned out. It turned out quite nice. And now, this build is done. We have another build to do. A, a couple more builds to do here. But we are done this build. Now, prior to me actually, like, calling it a day on this episode, because I, I would do more on this episode, but I physically can't. It's 104 on Saturday, and this is supposed to be going up today. So I can't really do another thing to do everything that I was wanting to do today. This took a lot longer than expected. But um, what I will do at least is, um, well, A, actually clean up from, my, from me being here and have some food. 
then um then I'm going to actually uh grab two logs and mark out where we're going to put the big walker in the future. Now the power plant, I have no idea where I'm going to put that. So I'm not even going to try planning that yet. So uh uh yeah. So do we have wood in here? We have wood in my inventory. That'll work. <laughs> Do we have a torch? Yeah, we have torches. Okay. Do we have signs? We do have signs. Okay. We are ready. Uh, we are ready to do it. So, uh, I pre I did show, I did think about this because I did talk about this, uh, pretty much two days ago now. Um, I do know where I'm going to build it. Obviously, we're not going to build, probably be building it for like a couple episodes still, but it's better to have the spot planned and picked than to not have it picked. And then when I'm supposed to be building it, finding a spot then. So, um, yeah. There we go. Done. Okay. <laughs> Imperial Walker will go right here. Then there's gonna be the other mining tower that's gonna be like right over here. Yeah, right there. So, uh, yeah, next build that we're probably gonna do, well, next episode, what we're going to most likely do, I've I'm really wanting to get started in a new direction, so I'm probably going to do that next episode. So, after this episode, I'm probably going to have some poll, uh, on, polls on um, our Instagram account that you guys can go answer to uh, let me know which direction we should go in. And then I might even ask you guys to put what, um, what biome we should go in. Now, I might overrule that one because I have an idea as to what, what I want to do in each direction. Because uh, what we need first in each direction is a big base so we can actually connect the connect and actually use the stuff from here. Because when we first go there, we can't use this stuff. So, uh, any other stuff that we already have, we cannot use. But we can get a stir kit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, that will all be happening next episode. So, feel free to go into the, go to our Instagram account, which should be in the, listed in the description. I going to check it should be if not just look up an air army on on instagram and it should come up so um yeah with that guys i hope to see you all in the next video i didn't get everything that i was wanting to get done today but i've literally run out of time to get this done so with that i hope to see you all in the next video i'm giving an air five signing off also also you can probably tell I'm back to normal. I ain't sent on no more. So with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. And goodbye.